Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at hashing passwords in Node. If you're not aware of what hashing is, hashing is when you take some data, in most cases a password. So you take the password and you transfer it through a bunch of different things and you sort of mangle it together so it looks like some kind of random string. It's not a random string, but it looks like a random string. So that is hashing. So let's say you store that hashed password in a database and the database get hacked. Well, then you can't see the passwords because yes, the database is hacked and all of the passwords are exposed, but it's just random characters. So they can't really use the data. So to hash passwords in Node, we're going to be using a library called bcrypt. There's a lot of other ones, but bcrypt is the one I'm going to be showing you today. The first line we're going to be doing is we are going to be requiring bcrypt. Next up, we're going to be wrapping our entire program in an instantly instantiated function because we're going to be working with asynchronous code. Next, we're going to be making a couple of variables. We're going to be making a variable called sold rounds, original password and password. Original password is the password word that we're going to be putting into the salt and the password is the one we're going to be comparing it against once we have encrypted it. This line is the line we're going to be using for later when I'm going to be showing you salts. Now, this line is where we are actually hashing the password. It's an asynchronous function, so we're going to A await it, and we're just going to be doing bcrypt.hash, and then we are taking the original password, so password123, and then we're putting in the salt rounds, which in this case would be 10, and just going to be showing that hash by content logging it. So let's run the application. And you can see that we get the hash. Let's get back to what the salt is. So there's two ways you can put this salt in. You can put it as in as a straight number, like I'm doing here. I'm just putting 10 in. Or you can put in as a salt function. So you can a await bcrypt.gen salt. You could also make a custom salt method. And then you can pass in the salt like this. If you're not making your own salt function, there's really no benefit of doing this compared to this by just putting in a number. But what is a salt? So what a salt actually is, is just a random string of characters that is put either in the front or the back of your password. And that is so if somebody just had run through all of the password and generate all the hashes for them, then you would just be able to reverse engineer all of the hashes and then really it would be to no use. So what we do is that we generate a random salt and we put that in the password that we are hashing and that makes it look random each time and that means that you can't just reverse engineer. Next we actually have to compare these two. So we are a awaiting bcrypt dot compare and then we're taking the password that this password up here which would be a password that you would that maybe an API got or some kind of user form and then we're comparing that to the hash password which this hash password would usually be loaded from a database and then we're taking these two and comparing them and checking if they are a match and then we're just going to be showing that by just console logging the match let's try and run this and you can see that we both get the hash but you also get true because 123 password and 123 password is the same if we change this password and run it again you can see we get false if we change this one up here you can see that we also get false. And if they're the same, we get true. Last up, let's just wrap this in a try catch statement. There you go. Now, if anything fails, we'll just lock it out. So that was hashing in Node. Hopefully you learned something and see you in the next one. Bye.